Well, the latest information we have is that the case has been adjourned. Uh, it's taking place in extremely unusual circumstances behind the security presence that you may be able to see across the street behind those barriers. Uh, the court has been in session in the past few hours. The judge has been proceeding. But in the absence of two key elements, any of the defence lawyers and most of the defendants. Now, there are about 680 accused in this case. But as was the situation with yesterday's mass trial, most of them are not present. Most are being tried in absentia. Uh, lawyers here locally have been telling us that only 62 are in court. That number does not include uh, a key figure in this trial, the spiritual leader of the banned Muslim Brotherhood, Mohammed Badia. Now, the authorities say he was not brought for security reasons. The defence lawyers are not up the road inside the court because they have imposed a boycott. All of the lawyers in this area are staging a protest about the conduct of yesterday's trial in which those math de mass death sentences were handed down at extraordinary speed. Uh, almost 530 men sentenced to hang on what was only the second day of their trial. So the lawyers have stayed out of today's proceedings. The judge has gone ahead without them. They tell us that he has been hearing evidence from eyewitnesses. He has apparently even been questioning some of the defendants, although their legal representatives are not present. Now, in the words of one local lawyer here with more than 20 years experience, this is unprecedented. He says he has simply never come across anything like it. And of course, it will raise renewed concerns about whether or not these men on trial today can have have any notion of a fair trial after all of the criticism that we heard of yesterday's verdict, uh, which was condemned not only by human rights groups in Egypt, but also by campaigners abroad and by governments uh, in the UK and in the United States.